Right, sorry, now, you would have seen a jump cut just there uh, because I realised I've made a mistake. Apologies. Uh, what you need to do is when you're doing the brushwork, uh, and you can see that it doesn't look much different to mine, I've kind of tried to match it. I've had to quickly go back and redo it all again because uh, I didn't have enough space in my history to go back. Um, but your brushes and your stars you need to have on a separate layer. Um, so layer four now you can see um, is my brushes so I haven't done it well enough. Uh, because what we want to do is we want to um, put the same glow effect that we've got on our moon on our stars as well so that we get uh, that crossover all the way through. Yeah, and I'd forgotten to put it on a separate layer, so that was my fault. Sorry if uh, that caused any problems. Uh, so what's quite nice is that you can go onto your layer there and uh, right-click onto layer 3, which is our moon, uh, copy layer style, uh, and then just right-click on our new layer and paste that to start, uh, and it won't work. That's a bit weird. All right, don't do that. don't know why that worked for me before, it didn't work for, you, for me this time, that's a bit strange. Let's go on and have a look. Uh, so, uh, same as before, sorry, uh, layer, layer style and outer glow. And uh, then just have a quick tweak of the things, I don't, I'm not quite sure why it didn't like it before, it may have been that the size was too big. But you can see as you kind of play around with that you can get slightly different effects on the glow um, as you're playing around a bit. So it's really whatever effect you want. Um, I'm going to go kind of somewhere in the middle and just pick it up uh, there. Alright, uh, so as you can see we've got several layers happening now. So we've got layer 1 which is our clouds, layer 2 which is our uh, you know, layer 3 was our uh, moon and layer four was um, our stars and our brushes that we've done. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to play a little bit around with the levels uh, and start kind of looking at the uh, the colours of the whole image. Um, what we need to do before that is flatten our image. So we've got our separate layers at the moment. Uh, if we do uh, Command and L, um, we'll get our levels come up. Um, sorry, before we do that, we need to flatten the image. Okay, layer and a flatten image. Okay, and we'll see you just go to one one layer now, uh, as you would do if you kind of opened up the, um, uh, an image uh, from scratch. All right, uh, now come on now, sorry. Uh, and if we just moved it so we can see it. Now what you want to change is just the red channel. So go into the red channel uh, and just uh, select that. And what you'll see is you've got these kind of hilly effects uh, as we go through. Uh, and these are the different levels of the of the colours that make up all of our image. So what we're going to play around with is the reds, obviously. Uh, and if we just stick 42 uh, in there, you'll see that it gives us a completely kind of different effect. It's, uh, it's pushing the blue up uh, within our image. Um, now I think actually when I did the lighting effects earlier I've got that light wrong but um, cause we've got a bit of a strange thing there but it's not the other rod. Um, but okay that and you'll see hopefully the effect that it's got we've got a much more kind of uh, a bluish hue um, to our image. Now we're going to do something a bit weird now. We're going to go back to our cloud so if you shut it you'll need to open it again uh, and exactly as we did before click on the move tool uh, grab clouds and stick it on top. All right. Uh, so now you've got our work that we've done underneath, and we've got our cloud layer on top of there. Uh, and what you want to do is delete about two thirds of it. So find your brush tool, uh, find your uh, eraser tool. Sorry, uh, pick a brush. Pick a brush that's got a soft edge. So one of these ones, uh, so that we can uh, be a little bit. Uh, Let's do this. And what you need to do is just kind of wipe out that section and then just make sure that you kind of get rid of all the top. A little bit further, maybe. That will do us. That will do us. All right. So, with this layer selected, we want to go back into level. So, Command and L uh, to get 
your levels come up. We're going to go back into the red channel. Uh, and this time, instead of 42, uh, we're just going to change that up slightly uh, and 65 in there uh, just to play around uh, and put a little bit more depth into where which we've got darker and lighter and it starts giving a slightly different effect. Okay, so okay that. Once you're done. Uh, and we want to flatten the layers again. So back into layers uh, and flatten it. So we've just got the one. And then now we're going to play around with some lighting effects just on the whole um, whole of our image. So light, uh, filter, render, and lighting effects. And we'll get this come up. Uh, and what we want to do this time is, uh, right, I'm just going to, I've got lots of randoms in there so I'm just going to take all these out. I'll just put the one uh, on the in there. All right. And then I think what we'll do is we'll position this uh, around our sparkles. Okay, so um, I chose a soft only preset in there so that I could see what was going on. Uh, and we're going to place it behind us so we get start getting a kind of uh, slightly darker areas around our figure and around the moon. Uh, and the focus is on kind of the sparkle effect uh, that we've created up here. And now it's kind of playing around with our tools up here. So at the moment it's a bit too bright, so I'm going to drop that down a bit. Um, maybe to about there. We'll start with that. Um, what's that? So that's on 42 uh, on our colour. Um, let's have a look on the metallic and we can maybe. around with that a bit more. Uh, let's have a look. Let's take that up to there. Now we're picking up a few more of the sparkles on there. Um, so really now here it's just a case of kind of finding a nice effect. So we get the sparkles, but we light our image um, nicely as well. Uh, I'm going to go with that. Uh, so those are my values at the moment. I'll just leave those on screen for a second. Uh, so intensity is 43, exposure is minus 18. Uh, and you've got these colour options as well. You could go in and put different colour effects on there if you wanted to uh, and have a look at how that might work. Alright, so I'll click OK on that, uh, and there we've got um, our image uh, with a bit more pop, if you like. Uh, within our image, uh, I think one last, one last little look at uh, our levels as we go in. So if we go in and if we look at the red level uh, to begin with. Uh, Yeah, so we kind of because we want this blurry effect on there, it gives a uh, a bit more kind of a, of a mystical feel about it, uh, which looks quite nice as well. Uh, we're going to change that on our uh, blue channel as well this time around too. It just um, play a bit around a bit more. Uh, so let's just go to our blue. So you can see, if I can't do something ridiculous, you'll see where it goes. Um, we don't want to do anything that much. We just want to kind of ever so slightly just play around a bit. That will do us. All right, uh, and there we go. So we've got our slightly festive kind of fantasy feel, if you like. Uh, to our Christmas scene, uh, but you hopefully now get the idea of how you can combine and uh, develop images using layers, using different effects, using different lighting effects, using different layer effects, 
uh, to go through. All right. Uh, so have a go. Hopefully, yours is coming out uh, as well as mine. I'm quite pleased with that. So there you go. All right.